creative art classes with John Mark. Today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon reindeer. Hey, it's John Mark and welcome to my series on teaching you how to draw a cartoon. Today's lesson is going to be on a reindeer. Uh, kind of the season where we're in right now. Uh, Christmas time, that is. One of my favorite times. So, let's begin. The first thing you saw me do is I created a horizon line because our reindeer is going to be behind a pile of snow. I love snow. All right, so I have created his head first and his two little hoofs, and now I'm working on his nose there and his two little cheeks on the side. And keep a note when I'm drawing, I'm always using a, a light a stroke when I'm uh, sketching in the very beginning. So if I make a mistake, I can always uh, go back and change it without have to worry to erase. So in this case, we have the eyes, one a little smaller than the other one. And the reason for that is just to give some more expression, more like, whoop, What's going on? Or a surprise look. There we go. So let's get uh, his ears in now. Okay. There we go. And as, and as always, and if, uh, oops, I see I made a mistake right here. So now I can just go the other way. I'm not going to worry about erasing that. I'm just going to keep it there for right now. That's just a sketch. Because after the sketching, I will take it into Illustrator and ink it in. And then Photoshop, I will use my watercolor brush to do the coloring in. All right, let's get his little hair in there. A little bit more detail. And then I'll come back again and make it a little darker. And as I share many times in my other videos is why do I start here or begin here or work on this? It's wherever my attention or my, my thoughts are. Like right now, I want to work on his antlers. All right, so let's get them both on there. And, and since this is your cartoon that you're drawing as well, feel free to change anything that you like. Maybe you want the antlers even bigger or you want something on your antlers like some bells or some Christmas lights. Uh, be creative and uh, don't have to follow exactly the way I did. And this is just giving a, a tool and a technique and, and just watching uh, myself draw and so you can learn. All right, so here we go, sketching his little feet in for his hooves. All right, a little different than a typical deer would have. I'm trying to change it's my style again or what I thought would be kind of fun. Okay, a little dark around the nose, getting ready for that, for the highlight, a little circle, and I'm just shading in very lightly, little speed lines, and this is all just to help add a contrast to the sketch. All right, a little wider for his cheek there. Let's get a little darker for his eyes. And now for his eyes, I'm not going to put an eyebrow on there. I'm actually going to do like a darker lid on the top. And there you go. And uh, same thing on the other one. Let's try to do that one now. Okay, come back. There we go. All right, and just kind of sketch that. And as you notice what happens then, is I'm getting a little bit darker and when I'm getting darker I kind of go a little slower at times. I'm not going really quick with my pencil. When I'm light I'm going really, I can sketch really quick. Alright, let's get that dark color and there's color in the other one now. There we go. It's looking good. Alright, what else can we do? Let's darken up his top of his little tuft there on his hair. Okay, get his hooves are a little bit darker. This is just so that you have uh, whoever is inking it or yourself when you come back you can see a tighter darker area of inking so you know where to go. Let's just extend the, that horizon line there. Work on his ear now back again. Okay and the inside looking good. Get the other one done a little bit more. And it's also a little tip that you may want to do is time yourself. So um, put a stopwatch next to you or a clock and just see when you begin and time yourself and see how fast you're getting uh, and going back and forth. So I've always done that in the past and I taught many lessons. I taught college level and elementary level classes and I share that with the, the, the kids and the, the folks. It's a fun little tip to see how fast you're getting in your progression. Never throw out any of your sketches. Keep all your artwork. It's a good uh, life lesson for an artist to see how they're growing. 
I think that we're just about done with this one. So let's sign and date it. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Check us out on Facebook, that's JMG Studio, and on our Instagram account, that's JMG Studio Cartoon. Oh, hey, I hope you enjoyed our video today, and make sure you hit the subscribe button, because then you can see all our old videos as well as the new ones that are coming up. All right, thanks a lot. Take care.